Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? I go by Boomer, and you're watching Bali Star. Today, we just getting into Aiden Ross gets banned from LA by TDE Goons. You feel me? Uh, I mean, honestly, man, like, they're taking this Drake Kendrick beef way out of proportion. Like, people really choosing sides. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Aiden Ross chooses chooses the side of Drake and stuff, and, you know, I saw AD, you know, if you don't know who AD is, he is a rapper slash, you know, he did uh, the podcast thing with uh, Adam22, you feel me, uh, the, uh, no po no, the No Jump, the No Jumper podcast, <laughs> you feel me, so, yeah, like, you know, they got into some words, and, you know, they say Aiden Ross banned from L.A. Aiden Ross is like, what? You can't ban me. Woo, woo. And then on me like, oh, yeah, we'll get people to woo, woo, woo. And Aiden Ross like, bet, I'll get lawyers to woo, woo, woo. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all, y'all super serious. Like, this was supposed to be a beef that's just straight lyrical. And the only people that's making it really about that are the people that are choosing sides. Not even the artists uh, themselves. I mean, Drake acting like a little, you know what I'm saying, like a little HOE, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that ain't really even really doing nothing. He just acting a certain type of way. This is just crazy, man. Oh, God, bro. But, hey, let's get straight on into it. Let's go. Apparently, Aiden Ross is banned from L.A. He's not allowed to pop out anymore, or at least that's what the streets are saying. Can't and this comes after shown. Aiden Ross has publicly been showing support for Drake since the whole beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar started. And people on the West Coast feel disrespected. And it all pretty much started with this clip right here of Aiden Ross in the club when the song Not Like Us comes on. And he pretty much says, this is trash. <laughs> And he told me dancing right beside him. That shows a lot. This is ass, bro. Oh, Dion! Now that's about where the frustration between these West Coast goons and Amro started at. Although they never called him out for that, they just kind of let it sit on the back burner. And I guess over time they've been letting Aiden Ross's support for Drake just build up and eat away at them over time. Now the other day, I guess this hit a boiling point when Aiden Ross joined one of academic streams that he was doing. And during this stream, academics was interviewing this dude, Top Five, who is a I'm gonna put this in quotes a rapper coming out of Canada now if you ain't familiar with top five he actually has a pretty thick history in them streets out there in Canada bro has notoriously been fighting bodies for the last couple of years All right and most people would consider this top five dude a certified goon a threat a real danger to society right he's also been credited as being Drake's shooter and his top goon and so they're on the stream of academics and top five says hey we are about to run a Not Like Us music video. We're finna play it. And I'm gonna be looking through it for all of the people that participated. He said it was a lot of people in this video. What about to come to LA? Showing. We're gonna become familiar with y'all pretty much if we ever see y'all out here in Canada. It's up. Me and Drake are gonna link up in a couple days and we're gonna do this podcast. Oh, and, and we're gonna play Not Like Us video. We're gonna look at every in the video. We're gonna do homework. <laughs> <laughs> Now, top five academics, Aiden Ross. These are a couple of the most outstanding Drake meat writers in the industry, right? So it's not really crazy that they're on stream defending Drake, talking down about Kendrick. It's just not shocking, right? And during that live stream, top five is really the antagonist. I mean, he's the bad guy. He's the one that's talking the up oh, really shit. He's the that one Drake saying they're going to pick through the video and identify people. And if they catch them in Canada, they're going to find them. But for whatever reason, Reason, Aiden Ross actually was the one that caught a big portion of the backlash, and that came from the guys over there. Yeah, I was just like, why Aiden? You know what I'm saying? Well, because he laughed? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you're in a roast circle, but you ain't roasting, but you laugh at a certain roast, and a homie look at you, uh, look at you and be like, I know you ain't talking. Is it? Is it that? Immunity. Now, Fig Immunity is a podcast hosted by basically a bunch of no jumper dropouts, <laughs> right? If no jumper was a college, these are the guys that showed up, did a couple months, and then was like, nah, you know what? I think I'm going to be getting up out of here. And when they left, they started this podcast called Fig Immunity, and they were watching this stream, and during them watching and reacting to that, they basically said, if we ever catch Ed and Ross out here, we going to slap fire out of him. Yes. He's from Canada, Ed Ross? No, nah, nah, he's Jewish. Where he's from? He's like, he like Florida. He's like, turn this stuff. This is like, 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 Ed Ross dripping too. Oh, oh for some reason, I'm slap your bitch. He's like, he's now, ain't much going on in that clip other than A.D. talks about Aiden Ross and his prior quote-unquote disrespect for Kendrick Lamar's record, Not Like Us. He basically says every time Aiden sees it, he puts on a disgusted face, asks people to turn it off. He's picked a side. And there's this other dude in that podcast named Smack. Now, Smack, I guess, is loosely affiliated with TDE. And Smack says, okay, that's cool. When I see him, I'm going to smack him. Which, I mean, those are words that could cause you you know, a little scruffle to happen, but it wasn't nothing too crazy. People talk like this all the time about other people. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's a war brewing between everybody. However, Aim Ross heard this, felt ultra disrespected by it, walked out his mansion into his backyard, right, up on know, the diving bro. board, and jumped off the deep end. From LA. I'm not banned from LA, bro. I yeah. wish somebody would. I swear to God, I'm going to go to LA. Nobody's going to do to me, I promise you, bro. Don't know. I don't give a f like, you think I'm scared of LA? What? I lived in L.A. for years and years and years. I'm not banned from L.A. F*** that old ass f*** on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, but I'm going to have security smack the f*** out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm going to have security smack the f*** out of you and beat your ass. It's that simple, bro. Now, I'm going to be real. When I seen this response, I was a little baffled, a little discombobulated because I don't know who told Aiden Ross he was banned from L.A. We just watched the clip from the podcast. All he said was, I'm going to smack you and Aiden Ross made this response. Wait, so, video talking about wait, so like, they didn't even say he was banned? Must have been his chat or something. I'm not being from LA, bro. I swear to God, I'm gonna pop out there wherever I want to, and I just don't know where he got the information that he was banned from LA from. But regardless, that was his response. Like I said, bro, went out in his backyard of his mansion where he's got a giant pool, climbed up the diving board, jumped out the deep end, and got to talking extremely reckless, which for Aiden Ross isn't extremely necessarily crazy. crazy. We've seen Aiden Ross say outlandish things before. It's kind of part of his whole spirit. It's what got him put on was doing and saying wild things. So while I was a little confused by the response, I'm not surprised by it at all. I mean, maybe he got it from the chat. Maybe the chat was spamming banned in LA, so he was responding to them. I'm not 100% where he got that from, but regardless, he gets on there and he basically says, I'm not banned from nowhere. And in fact, when I see you, I'm going to slap you. So he hit him with the old, I'm rubber, your glue, whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks back to you. No classic comeback but the guys from the fig unity podcast felt some type of way about this response which eventually leads to this thing heating up a little bit but why who is he calling oh i ain't oh right and i swear to god and i swear to god i'm gonna slap him and even if his security is from that like they gonna get slapped too so if he goes a lot of town security they really gonna get smashed there's no fly zone for him he just put himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA. Aiden Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. Now, this whole situation is pretty dumb. I don't really get the whole you're banned from L.A. thing. Like, they seem to be pretty much the only city in America that think they can ban people from coming to the city. One of the largest cities in the whole of the United States. And we got people trying to ban other people from coming there. People that don't even own anything probably in the city of L.A. Talking about you're banned. Plus Bruh. Rapping and streaming are becoming more and more alike. Like, y'all know, uh, who's that guy in, uh, Texas? Uh, Prince. Prince Jr. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, rappers, like, 
I guess this is for real, for real. Like, rappers come to L.A. to come perform. They have to check in with him. You feel me? And, you know, it, 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 was, it was like that for a lot of places. For a lot of places for rappers. And only rappers, bruh. So, I don't know if the streets are, tar- uh, are, are, are starting to intertwine with the streams. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if y'all be, like, walking... Uh, in a city or, you know, somewhere that's like, you know, uh, not in the best part of the city, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you be seeing them little canals and shit. Now, like, when you go over the bridge of a canal, you know what I'm saying? Like, the streets are start, start, starting to intertwine with the streams, you feel me? Um, yeah. It's like, I don't know. I don't know for real. But, yeah, the fact that people for real, for real talking about this, like, they're almost not intertwining. It's like, but, hey, I digress. There's, like, this vague threat of, oh, security get popped every day, B. Like, okay, bro. Yeah, let's take it there because a diss record made by an artist that is not affiliated with you in any way is being disrespected by one of the most famous streamers in the world. Let's take it to the when I see you, you gonna get pop phase. Like, bro, come on, man. Grow up. Now, if Aiden Ross comes down. I ain't gonna lie, though. Definitely not the best choice of words that he said right there. You feel me? It's like... The niggas not have no code no more, like. Come on, son. Come on, son. Like, don't you know that we can see you? You say that? Like I said, not the best choice of words. LA and anything happens to him, who do you think the police is going to be looking at? Where is the first place you think they're going to go check? You and your house, bro, because you just finished directly sending a threat to this man. However, I don't want to downplay, you know, any of these dudes' street credentials. They may really be built like that, but eventually he did come to his senses and say to himself, you know what? I built like also, that. I don't play. I'm going to call out something uh, that's not really related to all this but take a look at his little word flag the black word flag at the top i don't lie man (laughs) looking at it and not a crip like type of way it kind of sounds crazy fam (laughs) You know, any of these dudes' street credentials, they may really be built like that. But eventually, he did come to his senses and say to himself, you know what? I may not want beef with these guys like that. Let me go ahead and go from being a straight G to being a straight punk. And he did that by basically telling them, hey, bro, if you do something to me, I'm calling the police. And I got great lawyers. You just sent a threat to me online. You threatened my personal safety, bro. You lucky I don't contact my lawyer lawyers about this whole situation but then again it's like what make like what makes you think that your lawyers aren't already watching let me uh let me give you a tip security get popped every day b so come do it go to jail for the rest of your life it's so worth it bro your life come on let's try it let's 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 make some magic happen come on try it at least you'll go to jail for what minimum five years in la what is it i'll get i got the best lawyers of all time baby let's do it and I'm a low-key suit for that. You want to, I can't wait. Yo, let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. I promise you I'm serving you ASAP. Don't ever threaten my life again, you big. Go start a family. This podcast is not for you. I'm not, I'm not a gangster. I'm not about that life at all. That's why I said security is going to do what they're going to do. But now, I'm going straight to my lawyer. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Aiden Ross is a straight up punk for doing that. Bro, ran straight to the police. But my response to that is, yeah, of course, that's what he did, bro. Aiden Ross is not out here in these streets. He did not grow up in the ghetto. He don't participate in the street shenanigans, bro. What else did you expect from this man? You expected him to pull up and get down, have a squabble with you? Like, of course, that's not what he's going to do, bro. He's going to do what an average citizen would do and say, 
dang, that sound like you just threatened my life, bro. Let me go ahead and uh pursue some type of legal action, <laughs> right? See, that tough talk you ban from the city when we catch you, we gonna get you. That talk works on people that are in the streets, that are living that life. It don't work on regular citizens, bro. A regular citizen will report your ass to the police. And that's exactly what Aiden said he was gonna do. And that's exactly what Aiden should have said he was gonna do because Aiden Ross cannot compete with them goons out there in LA, bro. He don't know the right people to keep him safe when he goes to the city. I'm not saying that the ban doesn't have some type of effect. If A. Ross is there and he is caught by some of these people, something bad very well may happen to him. And that's why I think the response he gave them was the only response he should have gave them. Because at the end of the day, Aiden Ross is not prepared to go blow to blow with these people. However, this wasn't necessarily the end of the whole beef because during another live stream Aiden was doing, he was talking with his manager and his manager actually revealed that he knows this guy smack that was threatening Aiden. Right? And Aiden act shocked about it, but he continues to say, dang, that's your friend. You know him? That's crazy, bro, because I'm going to sue him. Tom, did you see what that guy responded with? Sure. Well, you know that guy? Shut the f*** up. Well, I'm going to sue him, so. That's your friend that was threatening you hated him? Nice friend you have. <laughs> I have a lot of friends. That guy's your friend. Why is he You so actually know him. Why? He doesn't even know Kendrick. Why is he, like, writing it like that? Is Tom a Freemason? Now, right in the middle of him having this conversation with his manager, he actually gets a phone call from another creator named Faze Banks. If you don't know who Faze Banks is, I mean, I don't know, I guess just look him up. But apparently, Faze Banks is tapped in in them L.A. streets. I would have never known. But apparently, Faze Banks is tapped in in them L.A. streets. He calls Aiden. He says, hey, bro, do you need me to make a couple of phone calls on your behalf? Oh, Faze Banks is calling me. Hey, Banks, I'm live. What's good? What up, baby girl? Say hi to the chat. Scooty yeah. chat. Yeah, I just saw some crazy clip about somebody saying you're not good in LA. Yeah, some like fat guy. You need me to make a couple phone calls? Yeah, bro. That guy's that guy's nobody. But go ahead. You, you gotta be. I need you to be big brother at Banks and, and figure just, that. Out. Just letting you know, you're always good in LA. Oh, I know. I walked out Melrose butt naked <laughs> with an eight with Aiden Ross tattooed on my chest. And we'll stream it, and nothing will happen. That clip actually pissed me off. I know, like, who does he think he is, dude? No, you're good. You should, you should come to a 72 hour live stream in LA. Yeah, just like in the streets. I'm actually down at this point just to piss that guy off. You're good. You're, you're 100% good. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Tell that, uh, tell that, tell that man, man. You know? Now, these dudes that were threatening Aiden Ross would see and hear this video clip of FaZe Bank saying, nah, bro, you're good in LA. You should pop out and do a 72-hour stream. And they didn't take kindly to that. No, nah, they felt disrespected once again. So they decided that they were going to speak on it. They go live, and here's what they had to say. And, and who is this he said his name was? FaZe Banks. He's from here. Banks. You can't come to LA now, you and I want y'all to do a 72 hour stream. Walk down Marrow's so I can kick you in your ass while you naked. Oh, well, yeah. That'd be fire if them would walk down Marrow's stream and say where I'm at. Because I swear I'm going to pull up, boy. Oh, I ain't even better stop the car when right? I jump out of there. Oh, my God. And, I, and I'll pay both of them at the same time. How the f you going to tell somebody they good in my city? Use a f. Use hey, a f. And I hope you see this clip. Because I'm going to f you up, too. Oh, my mama. Oh, FaZe Banks, you need that FaZe, too. I need that. And wherever you from, you, your mama, Banks, whatever, your daughter, your auntie, your granny, come get it in blood. But you know they they can't stream. You ain't gonna know where they at. They can walk around LA. No, they can't. No, they can't. I'm from LA. I know background. I know everything. It's my city. You can be in a restaurant. I'm gonna know where you at. Yeah, no, I'm on my way. <laughs> this guy is a genius. Bro is legit out here beefing with a civilian. That's crazy. Now, Aiden himself, knowing that he's a civilian, eventually would look at this situation after taking a step back and saying, you know what? I don't think I want to have these problems with these dudes. This ain't my lane. I don't feel like jumping into this lane. And I see I how AD's not even in it, though. So Aiden not even talking to AD. Aiden not even talking to AD. Damn. What the fuck? I don't really want smoke with these guys. So he ended up booting up his camera, going live, and apologizing. 
guys, I've been uh, I've been talking to people from LA. Uh, I'm, I'm actually coming to LA in about a, probably like a couple weeks. Don't put GGs in the chat. Probably coming in a couple weeks. Going to probably do some horror night streams. Going to go around do a couple podcasts, stuff like that. On Halloween. So, um, but I do want to I do want to clarify and, and, and take a step back and really you know in the moment. Obviously, I was talking crazy and shit. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm not necessarily apologizing to people I was talking towards, but I do want to say one thing. LA is to not be with LA is a serious place and I love LA seriously I love LA um now I'm not folding I still say you the people that were coming at me you um but I, I'm not saying you to to all of LA because I'm not now he's starting to get it now he's starting to get what he was saying what like, you know what I'm saying what he was saying like somewhere up here like you know somewhere around here like why is he riding Kendrick this so much it's like nigga this is not just Kendrick now he got it right here. You feel me? Like, seriously, I love LA. Um, now I'm not folding. I still say you to the people that were coming at me. You, um, but I, I'm not saying you to to all of LA because I'm not even joking, bro. People that are uh, in a certain amount of group, rappers, uh, specifically the rapper you guys know I'm talking about. You guys like to pedestal a bunch of these rappers, bro. LA is is deeper than that, bro. There's a lot of dangerous people out in LA. They don't even talk on the internet. They don't even have an internet. They don't even have exactly. they don't even care about the internet. People don't talk on the internet. So I'm never trying to disrespect LA. I love LA, bro. So when it. they say you banned in LA and shit holds word to bond, you're not just dealing with them. <laughs> there are people that watch these dudes. Like, yeah. LA. Probably the best. I love California, bro. The, 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 the weather it's is not just the best Kendrick. There. You know, I love Los Angeles. It's like, it's crazy when Kendrick gets on a mainstream level and people just see him for the first time after he did for like a uh, poetic justice. Or, like, the first time they see swimming pools or, uh, dang, what was, honestly, I don't remember, like, the first music video or song that made it like go mainstream for real but you know i mean and i and i mean mainstream mainstream you know what i'm saying before not like us or even like after not like us bro like they're just seeing him for the first they're seeing kendrick for the first time and you know when when we you know what i'm saying or like people like in la like bro when we say something, because these mainstream people, I'm calling mainstream people, they don't know. When Kendrick hits those mainstream people, they don't know. So when we speak for them, it's like people like really try to downplay it. And it's like, bruh, bruh. Yeah, the amount of disrespect. I mean, who has not seen, like, bro, it's not, like, it's not even about the movie, bro. It's like what the movies are based on, bro. And it's like they seem to get it. It's like, oh, yeah, it's not why he's Ryan Kendrick, you know, Ryan Kendrick paused so hard. It's like, bro. Like, I I had a couple AD songs, like, uh, a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bumping in my uh, shit. Who, like, bro, it yeah, not... Nah, AD tapped in, you feel me? AD tapped in, so when you, like, you know, talk about a person who, who made it mainstream like Kendrick, and we, where Kendrick come from, speak for him, and people that really bout that, for real, it's like, bro, you're not, like, just talking about him and Kendrick, bro. No, you're talking about the land, bro. The issue is, um, and hey, I don't live there anymore, but I'm not folding. I'm really not. It's still you to the people that I was talking to. The problem was I, I was saying that I'm going to go there and L.A. not on sh uh, the L.A. is on For real. Um, I don't want anyone taking me serious. I'm a, I'm, a, uh, I'm a nerdy white streamer kid, all right? All right? So none of you guys take me seriously, please. Okay, so actually, he does still want smoke with them guys. He just don't want smoke with the other people in L.A. <laughs> so Aiden is a trip, bro. Yeah, so that's where we're at with this situation. That's everything we got going on. Y'all got to let me know. Do y'all think Aiden Ross's life is in danger if he pops out in L.A.? All right, you guys. So that was 
A Ross gets banned in LA by TDE goons. Uh, I mean, I didn't say all that I had to say. You feel me? Like, honestly, if you talk about anybody that's from anywhere and they bout it for real, anywhere that's about it, bout it for real, it's like, dog, you're not just talking to that person. You feel me? So, you know, I hope, pray that, you know, he, uh, you know, that he's good in L.A., you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, because it's like, yeah, it's like, dude, random people, like, who are borderline civilians, you know what I'm saying? And are civilians, like, what, yeah, they will check you, you feel me? And, and like, this goes for, like, anywhere that's bad about it, for real. Hey, man, y'all let me know your thoughts about down in the comment section down below. It's Boomer. You're watching Bali Star. Make sure to leave a like, support the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to catch y'all in. The next one, 100. Boom! Why is it hard for one to understand? I'm only.